Hi, Steve Lackmeyer here with another episode of OKC Central. Today I'm here with Justin Thomas, owner of the brand new Bricktown Candy Company. Justin, I think Bricktown's been looking for this kind of retail for a long time. What brought you here? I have been looking at coming to uh, Bricktown area for about 10 years. And, and really with the candy store um, idea, my, my big push has been the last five years, trying to find a space that would accommodate and trying to uh, find different products to go into the candy store. So this is no fly-by-night idea by any means? No, this is well thought out, long-term evaluation, sitting down long hours and determining how many people walk by which area and, and uh, what products would go best in, in the Bricktown area. Now you've got a lot of candy. How did you pick out what to put on display? The candies right now that seem to be just flying off the shelf uh, from everybody are the uh, nostalgic candies, candies that they don't see very often, uh, Abba Zabba, Big Hunk, uh, candy bars like that. And then we have the majority of our products are bin candies, bulk bin candies. And it just depends. The gummies have been going well during the hot, the hot season and a little bit slow in the, in the chocolates. Gotcha. Now, it's almost inaccurate to call you a candy company. I was surprised to find out what's in the next room. There is quite a few different products that we ha have. We have uh, the nostalgic bottled pops. Uh, we have 75 flavors right now. We're going to probably go up to about 150 um, over, over time and as time allows. And then we have 24 flavors of gelato ice cream. So that has been probably more popular than the candy during this hot, hot time. It's been picking up quite a bit. Now, uh, you're in a space that hadn't really worked before. Are you finding it easier uh, putting a store in here than when it was part of a much larger restaurant? I have found, well, obviously I didn't have the restaurant, but it, it has seemed to uh, be very popular with, with uh, couples, date nights, and kids. And I found a lot of uh, people have come down here for date night, stopped in, picked out their favorite poison, candy, soda pop, or gelato ice cream, and then the next weekend or two weekends after, they've brought their kids. And it's been a short period of time, so obviously this has happened quite a few times. All right, well, thank you for visiting with us. For more information on downtown development, visit my blog, OKC Central. For all latest news, weather, sports, go to News OK. For all your restaurant listings, festivities, movie listings, WIMGO. Of all the picture postcards of Oklahoma City published over the past century, one stands out as more confusing than any other. History blogger Doug Ladenbeck may have noticed it first. A postcard of the famous Kilty Band that showed an ornate six-story building immediately south of the Oklahoma County Courthouse. The postcard was puzzling because this building never appears in any photos. At least, not as it did on the postcard. But the postcard does hint at a bigger story, the 20-year struggle to finish the Gladish building. The building was originally built in 1910 as the OK Transfer and Storage Warehouse. James S. Gladish bought the building in 1930s with plans to turn it into a 14-story two-wing hotel. Gladish stripped the building down and managed to get the facade up on the first couple of floors. But, as Ludenbeck discovered researching Oklahoman archives, the Great Depression killed the project. The building remained unfinished until the 1940s. In 1946, G.A. Nichols bought the building and promised to finish it and turn it into executive offices for the Veterans Administration. Construction, however, did not proceed as planned. Adjoining Halliburton's department store bought an option to expand into the old Gladish building. That didn't materialize either. In 1952, property owners began discussing whether to tear the building down. The Gladish building was indeed torn down in 1953 and left an open lot next to the old YWCA. The site of the Gladish Building and the YWCA is now home to the Ronald J. Newark Downtown Library. These photos and more can be obtained through Pictopia at News OK.